Yo, 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 what is going on guys and it's your boy RRB Plays here back again with yet another FIFA 20 squad builder on the channel. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be showcasing one of the best, or if not the best, 250k team that is actually built around Pep Guardiola and Moments Fabian Shaw. This was asked of me to um in the comment section down below, so I thought, you know what, why not build this insane team around two insane players, around Icon Sorts, Pep Guardiola and Moments Shaw. This team that I'm about to show you guys absolutely insane and most importantly it will do you complete damage and foot champions and individual rivals so that's why i do recommend that you guys get the team that i'm about to show you but before i do jump into the squad builder make sure that you guys do smash the like button subscribe and turn on post notifications if you guys are new around here so you never miss an upload and also guys if you haven't seen my career mode uh, series already then make sure you guys do go check it out it's honestly just such a fun career mode series and i highly recommend that you guys go ahead and check it out but without further ado let's waste no more time and jump into the squad builder baby let's get it let's go Okay guys, so as you guys can see on your screens right now for this amazing 250k hybrid, the formation that I recommend you guys use is the 4-3-2-1 formation, but that is only for chemistry reasons. There's an alternative formation, which I do recommend that you guys go ahead and use, and I'll show you what that formation is once I've shown you guys all the players in the team first. So make sure you guys do watch until the end of the video. But anyways, let's waste no more time. Let's actually just jump into the first player of this insane 250k team. We actually do have the man himself the one and only lucas more man he really is just so insane in this game man just such a cheap overpowered beast i really do recommend that you guys go ahead and get him as you guys can see man he's got four star skill means four star weak foot i've used this card so much especially at the beginning of fifa i just find him so amazing he fits the meta of the game as you guys can see man he's got 93 agility 92 balance 83 ball control and 88 uh, dribbling he also does have 82 finishing but i'll tell you something in game his finishing does feel a lot better a lot higher than the stat that actually EA gave him of 82 um and also he is a speed star of course as everyone knows man he's got 95 acceleration and 89 sprint speed so this Lucas Moura card is absolutely insane man he fits the meta of the game and you literally just won't regret your choice of buying Lucas Moura man just such an insane card but moving on now guys into the right wing position we actually do have the man himself in the right wing position a Champions League road to the final card that um it won't upgrade obviously one because of coronavirus and two because of his team actually did get his team did actually get knocked out but it still is a very very good card man and it's actually Jaden Sancho very very beastly overpowered card man I really do like this 88 rated right mid card because it really just is again another card another attacker in this team that just does fit the meta of the game as you guys can see there man he's got 92 acceleration 89 sprint speed and 87 finishing and 87 attacking position he also does have 94 agility 93 balance 90 ball control 95 dribbling like like i said guys man he just does fit the meta of the game he really is an overpowered card a beastly card and just a card which i do recommend that you guys go ahead and get man just so insane in this game guys and of course man he's got the five star skill moves as well and four star weak foot so just a very very good card and a card which i highly recommend that you guys go ahead and pick up man just such a good player in real life and in fifa 20 man but let's move on now into the left wing position we do have a Chelsea Beastly in form and he goes by the name of William and for some reason I just can't find his card where the hell is William's card William 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 what rating is William William is uh, 82 rated that's why I thought it was uh, for some reason oh that's why I thought it was 84 rated because it's actually in form William so I was thinking why what why is William not there but that's my bad 84 rated in form William there we go man I love this card it's so much better than his normal gold card first things first he's got four star skill moves and four star weak foot so again that really really comes in class really really helpful you don't have to worry about shooting on his stronger foot because you, have, you do have four star weak foot there as well as you guys can see man he is fast he's got 90 acceleration and 83 sprint speed along with 79 finishing and 87 shot power and 84 long shots and again man we have another attacker that's just so agile and very very good at dribbling as you guys can see there man he's got 90 agility 84 ball control and 91 dribbling man this inform William card is such a beast bros and i highly recommend that you guys go ahead and pick up this card this this trio here in attack they really are going to cause problems to your opponent's defense man they really are overpowered so i just recommend that you guys go ahead and get 
get all three of them. But moving on now into the midfield, as you guys know, we got Pep Guardiola here. He's going to be the anchor of the team. Um, and in the right centre mid position, this is an insane player. And also, guys, I forgot to mention. I forgot to mention before I actually do go on to the centre mid card. I just wanted to make things clear that this is a 250k team built around moment shot and Pep Guardiola, which means the prices of these player players aren't included in the squad so all these tradable players here that they cost they add up to 250k but if you guys don't have this card and you can't really get this card anymore anyway so that doesn't really matter that's for people that actually do have this card but if you wanted to get this pep guardiola card then it would cost you um around 200k more or 150k more i do believe um but yeah just wanted to clear that up so back on into the video in the center mid spot man we do have an insane cam and he goes by the name of marco royce man just such an overpowered beast bro Marco Royce, one of my favorite cams in this game. I really, really do recommend that you get him, man. He is so good, so vital to any team that you play with because he, he, he's just an overpowered player, man. Really, really good, fit in the meta of this FIFA 20 game. And as you guys can see, man, he is just insane in every stat. He's got 85 acceleration, 85 sprint speed, 89 attacking positioning, 87 finishing, 88 shot power, 87 long shots, 86 agility, 88 ball control, 87 dribbling, 85 composure. I mean, Marco Royce just is your ideal cam man he really is just you know the idol cam and i just highly recommend that you guys go ahead and pick him up just so amazing so beastly insane just make sure you guys get this player man just so such a good player in fifa 20 one of my favorite cams in this game man he really will do you a good job in that cam uh, position but anyways let's move on now in towards the left center mid position and we actually do have like a box to box midfielder and this is one of my favorite midfielders in fifa 20 actually and it's actually Jorginho wijnaldum a very very good card and what i like about Wijn Wijnaldum is that he's good defensively and he's good going forward man I really really do recommend that you guys go ahead and get him he's got four star skill moves and three star weak foot high high um work rates as well so like I said man he's a box to box midfielder he's good at attacking he's good at defending he, he can pretty much do anything on the pitch man but when you get in game you're gonna see how good he is man his interceptions are good his tackling is good his dribbling is good his finishing is actually better than it seems as you guys can see man his stat there is only 70 finishing but I'll tell you man in game his finishing is a lot better than that but literally man Wijnaldum he can just do anything he's a very very good well-rounded midfielder and just a good box-to-box -box player so that's why i do recommend that you guys go ahead and pick up why now then but let's move on now to the defense and we're going to start with uh, the left back position and in the left back position we actually do have another liverpool player and of course you guys probably know who it is now that i've said that it's actually a boy robertson and again one of the best premier league fullbacks to use in this game man i really really do like andrew robertson he's pacey and he's just good defensively as well and that's what i just do like about robertson it's li literally just as simple as that man he's pacey and good defensively as you guys can see he's got 83 acceleration and 86 sprint speed he also does have 83 standing tackle and 80 slide tackle and 81 defensive awareness as well and 94 stamina so he really really is good and also that stamina does help out a lot because if pl if players are subbing off their attackers subbing off their wingers and bringing on super subs super subs then that stamina there will come in clutch to help cope with people that do bring on super subs so um yeah i just highly recommend that you guys go ahead and pick up that Robertson card but let's move on now to the right back position we actually do have again just another speedster another pacey pacey fullback and he goes by the name of Hakimi and it's Hakimi's right back card and as you guys can see man he has got 95 pace just so so pacey and again just having two fullbacks that are very very pacey does come in clutch as you guys can see man he's got 96 sprint speed and 92 acceleration one of the fastest players in this game and as you guys can see as well he does have 78 standing tackle 71 slide Attack tackle on 75 um, defensive awareness defensively he's not too bad either but literally man this guy is just a speed stand he is just pacey man so you will enjoy playing with him in that right back position but um let's move on now into the right center back position the center barque partnership does consist of moments Shah, Shah and manuel ekanji man and ekanji is just a cheap overpowered beast bro like he's so cheap but you would think with how he plays in game if you never knew the price that he costs you think he's a much he's a much more expensive to play than he already is man he really is just so overpowered in this game i really do recommend that you guys go ahead and get him and as you guys can see there man he's got 85 sprint speed 81 interceptions 85 defensive awareness 85 standing tackle and 80 slide tackle and 84 strength man he really really is good uh, in the in the game guys and when you actually play with him you're gonna see how strong he is how dominant in that center back position he is he's literally just a rock man and no one gets past this man and also what i do like about kanji is that he is very fast with 85 sprint speed 
speed and 70 acceleration so that's why i do recommend that you guys go ahead and pick up manuel akanji but moving on now to complete the team in the goalkeeper position we actually do have um berkey in goal who is a very very nice keeper to have in your team and is a good shot stopper makes a lot of good saves and that's why i do like uh, roman berkey not not too much to say about him but he is a good card and he is a good card which i do recommend that you guys go ahead and get so now that i've completed this 250k team like i did say to you guys man there is a formation change and i'm going to recommend you guys a formation um to you so the formation which i recommend that you guys change in game with um in this team is actually going to be an insane formation so first things first as well guys what i want to do specify is if you guys do like the whole team and you want to buy guardiola and you don't have moment star and you can't get him a player which i would recommend getting is actually um gomez i'd recommend getting gomez just his normal 80 rated card that card is still useful still overpowered in this game so if you guys do want to obviously i say van dyke but that's a bit that's going over the top that's too expensive so if you guys don't um can't afford van dyke then go ahead and get gomez and then yeah everyone will still be on full cam and it will work out lovely but um yeah that's just a little suggestion for you guys so for the formation change the formation which i recommend you guys change to in game is actually the 4 2 3 1 formation this formation is very 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 good of course you guys probably know that already i mean it's a well-known fact that this formation is probably one of the most used formations as well a lot of people do like to use this formation and i do as well it is a good formation so this is the formation i recommend you guys change to and if you guys do change this formation in game this is how it should look with lucas mora in striker william in the left cam position um Jaden sancho in the right cam position and then uh, marco royce in the central cam position guardiola and wijnaldum as the two dms and of course the defensive lineup would stay the same so so that is the playing, uh, not the playing instruction. That is the formation change. And that's how I recommend you guys set up the team in game. And uh, yeah, so let me know down below in the comment sections what you guys think of this team. Me personally, I think this team is actually pretty insane. I think this team will do you damage in foot champions, bros, and in division rivals. So make sure you guys do give this team out, uh, this team a tryout. And also, like I said, guys, if you don't have that moment shot, then please, guys, just go ahead and um, and uh, just go ahead and swap him out for um. Gomez because Gomez is actually a very very good card in this game man but anyways hope you guys did enjoy this video if you guys want to see more squad builders like these then make sure to smash the thumbs up button make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you guys never miss an upload but it has been your boy RB Plays and I hope you guys did enjoy this video and I'll catch you in the next one peace out baby